guys, this is me, Christopher Kazumi Chan Productions, and today I'm going to show you something real cool with uh, Moho 12 that I just discovered. If you if you looked at the intro video to this uh, tutorial, you see a bouncing ball with a shadow on on the ground. Now that's all done with using small bones and then uh, it's all automatic. So first off, let's start off with a new document. I'm going to uh, set up a quick scene here. Of a UFO landing. On the ground. This background doesn't have to be fancy. All it just is is that it just has to look like the ground almost. Just like that. I do not like that for some reason. Um Let's call this round. I just tried to record myself last night, so I ended up having to uh, stop for a second because I sounded horrible. We're going to make a UFO and then below that, we're going to call it Shadow. And then we call this UFO. Okay. And let's convert this group layer into bone um, layer. Now let's actually create a UFO real fast. Let's make a fancy one. I like using gradients. And of course it's just shaped, so um the last thing I'm going to do is just make a shape like a square. Put this underneath the Fuselage. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound a little bit uh, strange. So this UFO is not going to um, be as fancy. It's just to represent an a object. You can apply this to your characters or to anything that you really want to have. Um, to have a shadow underneath the object. So let's put the... Uh, object close to the ground as possible so that we have something like this. Now for the shadow, I like to uh, make a oval. Let's actually turn this into a black color. Bring the opacity down just like that. To about 24%. And then let's add a soft edge. So we don't need that high. 
let's create the shadow right underneath the UFO. Let's try some landing, um, landing gears real fast. Now with Moho 12, they changed the, um, hotkeys. So there's no more hotkeys for the, uh, zoom in and zoom out of the, uh, certain, um, certain vectors, layers, or something. So you're going to have to create it. Let's actually give this a... Uh, there we go. So look for the shape, copy that shape. And then let's put the shape up underneath there, which all looks like something like this. Okay, so after I set up that, I'm going to, um, set up the layer now. I'm going to click allow animated effects, layer effects, and what this will allow me to do now is just go over here to the opacity and let me control it very easily. So now let's add some moments here. I'm going to um, go right in the middle of the ship. Drag it up, then deselect it. And then now I'm going to make a second bone right underneath the shadow. And the final bone, we're going to actually line it up with this bottom one. The reason I do that is because um, I want the bone to perfectly align with this UFO bone. So when I apply a smart bone action to this, um, I won't have any weird side effects. Okay. The next step, selecting all of this, selecting the string. Bring it down to zero. That's what I want. Now I'm going to um, later bind this UFO to this bone. And then to the shadow, I'm going to select the bottom bone. Okay. And now for this guy, we're going to name everything um gonna call this UFO we're gonna call this um shadow effect shadow effect this last one 
Shadow. Now we're going to select this uh, shadow effect bone and put some ankle constraints on. We're going to go ahead and um, select the ankle constraints and put them to negative 25 or to zero. The last And the last uh, step is just to select the UFO as the target bone. Okay. So I want something like that. So I'm gonna make a small bone out of this shadow effect now. Call it shadow effect. Push this up and put it back down at uh, frame 24. So now you should have something like this. Um, let me do that again. Put the interpolation to smooth. Raise it up. Put it back down. So now if I scrub through the timeline, um, we should have something like this. If that's what I want. Now we'll go over to the UFO. Go under layer settings. Adjust the opacity down to zero for frame one, then on frame 24, I'm going to increase the opacity up to 100. Oops, I forgot to uh, apply the uh, this checkbox. So I'm going to do it very, very quickly again. Go to frame 24. Then increase the opacity. And if you guys can see that, the shadow is disappearing. That's the way I want. Now we're going to select the shadow itself. Then go ahead and scale it to there. And then while the points are still selected, I'm going to reset the oval shape. So now it looks like something like this. Okay. After we're done there, I'm going to um, select the UFO, zoom out, close that out. And so now if I go um, to frame one, put this auto keyframes in, and then select the UFO bone. Go up, just like this one. Then I'm from 72. I'm gonna have to reset the position of the bone back down. So as it as the UFO lands, it will actually make the shadow appear. Just like this one, which is pretty cool. Um, to make it more, um, um, more smoother, I'm gonna set the keyframes to linear. Um, 
And let's go on frame one twelve one twenty. And then just click the uh canvas. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then it will just shoot back up again. Um from this point of time. So I'm going to adjust the timeline, so it says 162, so if I play it, the UFO lands, and then about two seconds later it will shoot back up, which is a pretty cool effect. Now, of course, you can apply this to any object that you're working on, um, especially with characters. Especially if they're um, underneath the light source. Um, but I just kind of figured this thing out by myself. And all this is is just a small bone. Um, actually pointed to a target bone. That's all it is. So, of course, now you can play around with the uh, settings of the CFO or anything that you want. And so, anyway, this has been Chris for Kazumi Team Productions, and today was a tutorial, a short one, I hope. Um, I'm not sure anymore. But anyway, this was automatic shadow um, underneath the object. So thank you guys for watching this. And see you next time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.